Vanderbilt Open. That's one pin that one of these ladies hope will be standing and they'll carry home to put on their mantle. Kim Terrell and Michelle Feldman in the championship match. We're at Fern Valley Strike and Spare in Louisville, Kentucky. Once again, I'm Jan Schmidt along with Kathy Dore and Lizzie. And Kim Terrell will start the championship match. Well, Kim definitely did what she set out to do. She started aggressive in the first match. She remained aggressive definitely against Carolyn, which she knew she had to be. And she's starting off the same way. So she's doing exactly what she set out to do. That's awesome. Nine years on two or nine titles for Michelle Feldman. Already one title this year. We're definitely going to have a two-time champion today. Wow. Right, one of these ladies will win their second title of the year, but... <laughs> well, it's unbelievable to me when she leaves any pin standing with the way her ball rotates. Look at the power and rotation on her ball. She make I don't even know what pin that is. It's flying around. <laughs> Probably the head pin, but I'll tell you what. The messenger uh, missed its target for sure. But she switches to her plastic ball, which was a thing she matured herself to do as she's been on tour. She normally didn't do that years ago when she was out. But we've seen this young lady really strive hurdles to get to where she's at. She won the St. Clair Shores Classic earlier in the year. And as we said at the top of the show, she's won both times we've been in Louisville. We alternate, have been here in 98 and in 2000. She won them both. And now in a different bowling center, she's top seed again. Doesn't even matter what bowling center. It's the city. It's the city. It has to be. And of course, her two biggest fans are here. Her grandfather, Gary Feldman, and Uncle Bud. Hi to Grandma back home. Two for two on the ten pins. Takes a little deep breath, and you can see Michelle led five out of the six rounds. Just fell into second. What a slip in that second round. But Mary Ann DeRupo came a long stretch. Carolyn was very consistent. Kim bowled great the whole week, but she really poured it on fourth and fifth round. She defeated Michelle throughout the week and by quite a bit, 237 to 198. Not the shot she wanted to make. No, she threw that slow. Never got right to its target. To me, she just got it in and looked like she threw it slow. And she knew it. You could tell she was not happy the minute she let it go. So the 6, 7, 10, and, you know, she may go for this a little bit. Oh, takes two, and Kim actually talked to us about the keys to her consistent success this season. Well, I, I suspect it's a combination of three things. My new coach, my new sports psychologist, and an ebonite. I just am having the equipment's great. And going from top to bottom, it just makes my ball changes so easy every week. So uh, I, I'd attribute it to that. Whatever it is, keep doing it. It's working. Coach Rod Ross, uh, sports psychologist Dr. Dean Hinnitz. Kim Terrell now in the third frame. And you saw a graphic quickly come up. These two ladies are the only two women to ever tie 300 to 300 on the PWBA tour. They did it in a match, just a regular event during match play, not on television. But they did have a 300 to 300 tie. Imagine splitting those bonus pins with that game. That was in 2000, two years ago, September. Well, better shot for Kim on lane 13. Flat 10, which means the ball did not generate enough power into the pocket to carry the 10 pin. It hit the pocket a little flat. But so she, she switches to the plastic ball and makes the spare no problem. So Michelle, I'm sure right now is saying, big deal, two 10 pins, I'm in Louisville, doesn't matter, I'll carry. Kathy, do you have a center like that? Will you feel like that? That's a yeah, good I center. do. I, I enjoy Pittsburgh, although I've bowled very well in Kentucky. But I do, I, I when I look at my previous performances i make i make a good chunk of change in the state of pennsylvania <laughs> great first strike by michelle
Well, we take about a six-week break after tonight, but watch for our return with the airing of the Sport Bowling Champions Challenge from right here at Fern Valley Strike and Spare in Louisville, Kentucky. That'll be Monday, September 16th at 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. And Michelle Feldman will be a part of that Sport Bowling Champions Challenge, and it'll be in Louisville, Kentucky. So what do you think the odds are there? Pretty, pretty good in her favor. And we might have eight people paying us to move it to another bowling center. <laughs> Nine, I'll pay you. <laughs> well, you know, we talked about Marianne not having any big, game, big games, and she bowled so consistent all week. Michelle was another one. Her high game, 262. And that's a low high that's game for That's a low high Michelle game Feldman. for her, was right. Right. Kim, on the other hand, her high game, 299, the high game of the tournament. Career earning 666,000, and they tried to add 500 to it. The owner here put up 500 for 300, and no one took it. Kim was the closest. Again, same shot on 14, and unfortunately, same result, 6, 7, 10. Now the pins are a little spread apart, so she could actually have a chance to make this. That looked like a better shot. It could just be that the back ends are breaking down a little. It did not appear that she threw it as slow as she did the other one. She definitely got this one more right than she did the previous shot. So she might have to just make an adjustment. Oh, I thought she was going to pick that up. It was close. At this point, she probably felt, I need to go for it. I, I needed something good to happen, turn things around. Yeah, you have to. And I mentioned those pins, the 610 was spread apart. You're either going to make it or you're going to chop it. Unfortunately, she chopped it. So Kim now down by 36 pins on our mini scoreboard, sponsored by Travel Lodge Hotels. Her mech score possible, 233. Michelle Feldman can still shoot 279. Beautiful shot by Kim. Through four and a half frames, Michelle Feldman is out in front by 36 pins. We'll be back in a moment to see who claims the final title of the summer swing.